Okay, so to prove uh, this here, all right, we need to look at the left-hand side to see if we can put these fractions together to create the right-hand side, okay? And that's why we have three lines here to show that this side is actually identical to this side. And, and we can put these fractions together, and as I said, it will create this. So if I call this the left-hand side, okay, and for a proof, we will just look at the left-hand side to start with. And we'll think then of what we can do to these fractions to put them together. And when we put fractions together, um, we need to have a common denominator, okay, um, so that we can add them um, in this case. So common denominator, we need to think 5, 6, and 10. Okay, we need a multiple of 5, 6, and 10. And, you know, when you look at the answer here, you see 15. And 15 won't work, won't it? Because 10 doesn't go into 15, neither does 6. But 30, I think, 30 is what we can go for. They all go into 30. So if we scale this up to 30, okay, and then on the uh, bottom here, scaling that to 30, you've got to times this by 6, haven't you? Okay. So um, if we times the bottom by 6 to get 30, we've got to times the top by 6, so you get 12, 12x. Um, the 6 then, if we scale that up to 30, we've got to times that by 5. So we get 30 there, we're going to times the top by 5, so you get 5x, and then 5 times 1 is 5, so minus 5 there, and then this one then, scale this up to 30, you're times in the bottom by 3, so you got to times the top by 3, so you get 9x plus 15. Now we've got all the values on the bottom the same, we can put the fractions together, we've got 12x plus 5x, plus 9x, okay, put the x's together maybe, and then we've got minus 5 plus 15, and it's all over 30, so that will give us um, 26x, and that would be plus 10, divided by 30. You notice now, it's not quite like the right-hand side, but remember the right-hand side's got 15 on the bottom, so we can actually get 15, can't we, if we halve it? Yes, if we halve the bottom, as long as we can halve the top as well, then we, we can actually halve the top coming. So if we halve the top, in other words, divide by 2, we get 13x, halve 10, you get 5, but then we need to halve the bottom as well. Whatever you do to the top, you need to do to the bottom, so halve the bottom, you get 15. So there's the answer there, okay? And we show now that it's actually equal to or identical to the right-hand side. So we proved it.